Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to do another track walk here of the new Zandvoort track, which is new to the game and has never been run by F1, at least in this modern configuration. Uh, my understanding is it's been uh, reconfigured with this corner we're in now, banked, um, to try to encourage him to still take some passing. And I can definitely tell from running the career race here, it's very difficult to pass here. And they have made some adjustments banking a couple of corners to make it better. Um, to pull off some passes, much like what you just saw me do there, um, taking the two pink Mercedes uh, for the lead. Um, and I think in a lot of track walks um, in real life or F1, you'll hear people emphasizing putting the car in the exact perfect spot and, and getting that car placement right. And I think a lot of people get into this mode where they think it's more important to drive the track than it is to drive the car, and, and it's really the opposite. It's really more important that you can drive your car to its limits more than the track to the limits. And this track particularly, I think, will reward someone who really understands this game, these cars, um, and can just really throw an F1 car around really, really fast. Um, like I said, at least in a game. Um, some tracks, or some of these corners, like the one I'm in now, there's a couple of different ways you can approach and get through this corner. And really, they both hold some merit. And like when I look at my... Deltas when I was doing this in practice. I mean, maybe a tenth or so here and there, but ultimately not a lot of time um, gain or lost. I mean, you can really just throw the car into some of these corners in a few different ways. Uh, for instance, where we're at on this section of the track, it's very, very wide. Notice as we come off this next corner, there's a huge amount of track on exit. So the traditional late apex is not really correct here. Um, and this corner as well, very, very wide. It narrows back down the straightaway. Um, but it really opens you up to a few different options, like if you may remember Malaysia a few years back, um, F1 cars could take a variety of lines there and really get around the place very well. Um, and this track is a little bit like that, I think. Um, so I'm going to give you an idea of where to place the car, but I mean, if you're a half width off one way or the other, it's probably not a disaster, this track. I mean, you can really make a lot of things work, and that's what I really love about this track. I like a track that lets you just throw a car around rather than just like reward placement. All right, so let's get right down to it and learn how to get around here. All right, what we're looking at here, uh, kind of covered by the mirror, is the second F1 bridge. Um, I use that to index my braking and brake right about, maybe just a hair past that. Um, this corner lures me into turning too early for reasons I don't really know, honestly. Um, and the apex is blind. There's a red and white curb just around here. And, and the answer to me is to brake harder and turn sharper than you think. Um, in a way, it would probably spin you out, but the banking holds you. Um, and hold the curb for a few moments. Sometimes there's an apex point and sometimes there's an apex area. That is an area. Just kind of hold the apex for a moment. Um, and then track out. I wouldn't say it's important to get on the curb, but stay track left and just carry the momentum. There's a few things to look for. One is the Aramco side and then there's the end of curbing. Uh, you do want to hold the car to the left for a pretty long time around this curb. And then you're going to need a brief break, bringing it to the right-hand curb. And you can actually cross that curb and just, like, basically cut the corner. And you can take an option. Do you kind of stay off the gas or do you kind of punch the gas and just kind of go wide open throttle for just a brief couple of seconds into this corner? Now, car placement's not critical here. All the way left, a car width um, left on the inside is fine. This is a really fun passing zone if you set it up just right. And then you have to decide, do you want to take a banking, like a traditional tight turn, or do you want to diamond it off? Uh, look off diamonding a corner, a NASCAR strategy if you want. Um, but whether you take a traditional line or a diamond line doesn't seem that important to me. Uh, just be aware of losing the traction on the exit. We didn't go down a long, twisty straightaway, and we come to this part. Now, there's a blind corner. The track drops away and goes to the right, but you can use the Pirelli bridge as a mark to downshift uh, and, or go past it and brake just momentarily. Be left of track as you go under that Pirelli bridge. Um, stay off that curbing to the right. Um, you can use a lot of gas going down here, but maybe not quite full throttle. Be aware of running out of track on the exit. Um, go under this Pirelli bridge. Uh, hold track left as long as you can, but if you're not all the way left going into the brake zone, that's okay. It's more important that you're going fast. Uh, a brief brake, a brief turn, get into this inside curb. There's a big hump on the far inside, and beware of that. You just want to use a little bit of that inside curb. Um, and this is a spot that goes against a lot of intuition of HPD instructors, which is you turn early here. You turn right before the 50. Brake and turn at the same time, turn very early because the track gets very wide. I mean, look how wide this is, um, and you can use a lot of exit. Um, you can either shoot the gap between these two advertisements or go just under the right half. Uh, there was also a corner worker station back there you can use to index, and what I do is I go just under those red boards, brake, turn, get to these inside curbs going around the next left-hander, beware the traction coming off. 
Um, that Rolex bridge, uh, I use that to not get lost. That is not your brake marker. There is a left-hand curb ahead that you can't quite see that you'll brake just before you get to it. Now, most critical car placement area on the whole track. You need to use this curb. It's worth a few tenths to your lap. Um, don't go directly over it because there's a hump that will actually throw your car in the air, but you go just a little right or a little left, and you're great. And then after that, you'll get down um, to this inside curb, so start winding it to the left. Um, this is the deepest and scariest brake zone. I mean, you go under this bridge, you go past that 50, just past the 50, and then you just slam the brake, go down to about fifth gear, maybe fourth if you're really trying to cut a fast qualifying lap. And because you're going so fast and brake so deep, you may even miss this left-hand red and white curb. Use that to steer, just a brief cut into this corner really fast. Um, it seems like to me if I'm out on all the way over that left-hand curb, I'm in trouble. But if I use that first set of curbs, I'm okay. Um, and then I'm aiming for the bank corner. My wheel never quite goes straight. It's almost like it's just one big continuously opening corner. Um, the track, like if you do the, um, the program, it makes you try to get all the way inside on this banking. I don't think that's very important. I think it's just as fine to leave the car outside. So here we go, fast lap. Now remember, hold the apex for a moment. Um, don't use it as a point. Use it as like an apex area. Fast, fast, just a brief break. And I kind of goose the gas gas and then into the corner. Nice little sweeping turn. Beware the traction. Remember, this is just a winding straightaway. Um, if it's raining, be very careful through here, though. Now, we're going to go just past that Pirelli board, just past it. Brake. One the gear down. Wide open. Beware of running out of track on exit. Hold left as long as you can. Um, coming around this corner, remember, look how wide the track gets. And I actually missed the apex here. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, remember, it's, it's more important that you be fast over anything. You can go back and look and see if you can use uh, the corner worker station or anything like that as your index marker. Remember, use the Rolex bridge, not get lost. Brake, 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 brake. Get over that curb. Hold this inside curb for just a moment. Let the car track out. And this is the scary brake zone. We're going to go deep past the Rolex, past the 50. Brake, brake. And here we go to the finish line, over the curb a little bit. Sweep the car around this next corner, and I'll give you an uninterrupted lap to watch as well after this. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you later.